Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys seven reasons why you should have at least some type of solar setup for your RV. Since we've owned a camper, we have pretty much always had at least a small solar setup. We initially started out with a Harbor Freight 13 watt portable solar panel briefcase. Then we upgraded to a 100 watt Renji solar panel briefcase. I ran half of that over with our camper. <laughs> so I ended up uh, installing 200 watts of solar on our rooftop. We got an HQST system. Uh, I purchased it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. But we've been rolling with that now for about two years. And uh, part of our solar system too is we have a Renogy 200 amp hour deep cycle gel battery. Now, if you're wondering, hey, is 200 watts actually enough solar for your setup? I've already got you covered and I did a video on just that topic and I'll put a link to that video right now. So this video is gonna be based on our experience with a smaller setup. We are recreational campers. So we will camp 20, 25 nights uh, in a year, something like that. And our experience is also based here in Colorado where we average over 300 days of sunshine. So a little over 80% of our days are sunny. So now that you guys know a little bit about us and our setup, let's go ahead and get into the seven reasons. So the first reason is when you have a solar setup, when you get done camping, you don't have to unhook your battery and take it off and put it on a charger. This is extremely convenient. I know a lot of people that do not have solar and if they park their camper at a storage facility, they have to take their battery out, bring it home, throw it on the charger, and then remember to put it on there, you know, when they go on their next camping trip. Uh, I also know people who store their RVs at their house and during the camping season, they either just plug it into their house so that their battery is constantly trickle charging or again, they're throwing it on the charger. When you have solar, especially a fixed setup like we have where the panels are up on the roof, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Your batteries are charged and ready to go. Now, when we did have our portable panels, uh, we would still disconnect our battery when we were not using it, but we never had to physically take our battery off our camper. So the second reason is that you are almost always charging your batteries during daylight hours. Even on cloudy days, you're still bringing in some solar. Really the only time that I've seen our solar not bring any energy is when I camped at uh, our property and it snowed two feet while I was there. So the panels were covered in two feet of snow and I was definitely bringing in a zero solar. Now this is great for multiple reasons. I'll give you guys an example. Uh, this last summer we went on a little bit longer of a camping trip and uh, after a few hours of our drive, we ended up having lunch at this gorgeous waterfall uh, pull off. And uh, I don't know, we had lunch for probably about an hour or so. And during that time we were using the bathroom. So we had the water pump going, you know, we were using our faucet again, the the water pump was going, we had lights, we turned our fan on in our bathroom, and I was also charging the GoPro, and we were using actually a decent amount of energy. And what was great about that is we did not drain our battery at all uh, because we have solar. If you did not have solar, you would be depleting your battery resources and Sometimes I've heard of this happening. This has never happened to us. What you can actually do though is when you're hooked up to your truck or your tow vehicle, you can actually then start to drain your tow vehicle's battery if your camper's battery gets too low. Uh, with solar, you don't have to worry about that. Your batteries are always charging as long as the sun's out. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. So the third reason is that solar setups are cheap and affordable, and they're getting more affordable each and every year. So when we had our little Harbor Freight 13 watt uh, solar panel briefcase, we originally paid, I think like 85, 90 bucks for it. And then two years ago, when we got our HQST solar set up for two 100 watt panels, a solar charger, uh, mounting brackets, the wiring, 
really everything that you need, it was like 240 bucks. And since then, it's actually come down a little bit. It's like 220 bucks right now, which is great. It's so much cheaper than it used to be and it seems to be getting cheaper every year. Now, I know a lot of people are like, yeah, but then you gotta worry about getting a, a badass lithium ion phosphate battery and all this stuff. Um, yes, you can do that. However, for about seven years, we used just our regular deep cycle batteries. It wasn't until those died that we upgraded to our Renogy 200 amp hour deep cycle gel battery. And that battery has been a champ for three years straight. I mean, that thing is going really good. So you could look at that or like an HEM battery. I'll put a couple links in the description here. But those batteries, 200 amp hour batteries, which are, are gonna give you plenty of power, uh, those run about 380. So they're half the cost of a lithium ion phosphate battery and they work fantastic. So the fourth reason is that solar panels are actually pretty easy to install yourself. I'll put a link to a video I did showing you guys how we set up our system. If you're a little handy and you have some basic tools, you can definitely do this for sure. If you're not confident in your skills and abilities to be able to do that, that's the beauty of the portable solar panel briefcases. Now I plan on doing a video on the pros and cons of fixed panel setup versus portable panels, but I gotta say, I love having the fixed panels up on the roof. Once you install them up there, you don't have to worry about anything. And for us, we still have uh, half of our, uh, our solar panel briefcase, which we'll use. And actually I have another company that is gonna be giving me a nice soft uh, folding case that I'm really looking forward to checking out. The thing that's great about the, the portable solar panel briefcase is when we bought our Renogy 100 watt one, I think maybe four or five years ago, that was like one of the few ones on the market. Now there's so many soft case ones and ones that fold up really small that you can get, they take up hardly any space and you can have yourself a nice little solar setup that's easy to set up. Uh, you don't have to worry about installing anything and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And the price is again, really reasonable for what they provide. The fifth reason is that solar energy is a green, renewable, and free energy resource. Now obviously there's lots of benefits to this, but this kind of goes in line with the leave no trace that Colorado Parks and Wildlife and lots of other parks and wildlife throughout the country talk about. You know, when you have solar set up on your camper, you're reducing your carbon footprint. And we're camping in some of the most amazingly beautiful places in the country and it's good to know that we're having a smaller impact on those places because we want to keep those places beautiful for generations to come and solar is renewable like i said in colorado here over 82 percent of our days are sunny that's a pretty reliable energy resource and at the end of the day how can you be free once you get your solar set up you don't have to worry about you know putting gas in it like you would a generator or doing any maintenance, you know, stuff like that. Um, you pay for it once and it just continues to provide you with good, clean energy. Now the sixth reason is to be more self-sufficient. I gotta tell you, this is probably one of my favorite things about solar. There's such a neat feeling that you get when you can go out camping and you can produce your own power and not have to be worried about hooking up or tying into the grid or anything like that. We primarily boondock camp or dry camp or whatever you wanna call it. And so we really rely heavily on our solar panels. And like I said, it is such a cool feeling to know that you are self-sufficient and you're producing your own power. So the seventh and final reason is that solar power does not produce any noise. So unlike a generator, uh, which we do have by the way, uh, obviously those can be very noisy. So a lot of people appreciate the fact that solar doesn't produce any type of noise, especially your camping neighbors. Uh, when we go out camping at campgrounds, we primarily camp at campgrounds without any hookups. It's good to know that we're able to produce energy 
for our camper while not annoying our neighbors with a noisy generator. So that is the seven reasons why I believe you should put at least a small solar setup on your RV. If you guys can think of any other reasons why, please put them in the comments below. Again, I'll put Amazon links to the uh, products I talked about in the video in the description, as well as links to my other videos. But thank you guys for watching. Throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.